two proud football clubs located just 12 miles apart. It is the North East Derby and the sparks tend to fly when Newcastle and Sunderland find themselves on the pitch together. Welcome to St James's Park. Welcome. Don't go anywhere, this is EA TV. Hello and welcome to one of the most atmospheric venues in the game of football, St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Newcastle United and they face Sunderland. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Bruno Guimaraes in central midfield. And the attack is led today by Alexander Isak. And the starting 11 for Sunderland. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be... Oh, they could finish here, Stuart! Oh, it's gone in! A derby goal! The first of the contest! Electric! Just look at his movement, he knows exactly how to find space, and it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Well, just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Take it away. Sandro Tonali. Read it well. Well, he's certainly not alone. Great ball over the top. Corner kick forthcoming. <laughs> Playing it in. And well off target in the end. Good pressure from the defender to put him off. Dan Burn. Gordon. Almiron. Danger averted. Oh, in with a chance. Newcastle will get the throw in. players waiting in the middle now oh, brilliant work to keep that one in play determined defending Trippier And the Magpies finding space on the flank. Clears it away. The Magpies looking creative. And he read it well defensively.
Sandro Tonali. Joel Linton. Dan Byrne. It's with Joel Linton. What can he do with it now? Oh, great defending. And a good take under duress there. Possession lost by Sunderland. Trippier. Sandro Tonali. Well, pass after pass. Maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. This might be ideal for the counter. Magnificent defending. Almiron Isaac and he could really get at the opposition well that's as good a challenge as you're likely to see well the keeper was always likely to do his job under no pressure Sandro Tonali Joel Linton, promising move this from Newcastle. He's taken on his opponents here. But no damage done, that's the main thing. Jack Clark. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Not to be in terms of the finish. Well, possibilities in the centre. Well, the attack just lost its momentum, and the keeper will collect. Trippier. Tonali with it. A oh, good vision there. Here it is again, and you have to say, this is a very good volley. His technique is absolutely perfect. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Well, we're at the halfway mark here at St. James's Park. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason. He's bossing the game, Stuart, and giving the defenders headaches. Well, the keeper will be sick at the sight of him. He's been shooting from everywhere, and he's taken his goals really well. And the ball rolling again after what was a sublime first 45 from Newcastle. Are we in for more of the same here? Well, couldn't keep it. And the referee playing advantage. Anthony Gordon Joel Linton the supporters want to see him have a go and he's only gone and made it a hat-trick absolutely unplayable today what a performance
Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So on they go again, and the Magpies beginning to run away with this. Miguel Almiron. Trippier now. Fabian Scher. Bruno Guimaraes. Gordon. Nice looking pass. And a fine cross. Well, nothing untoward happened. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Might be a chance to break. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. And it's with Isaac. Still trying to make something happen. Now well, the conclusion, he's missed the opportunity. So two substitutes to come on in one go. <laughs> Being pressed here. Neil there to take it away now perhaps they can counter from here now can they take advantage and holding it up effectively well, far from the ideal cross keeper's ball all the way Miguel Almiron. Joel Linton. Well, putting it wide from there. A pity, really. And time for the change now. Good high press. Neil. Quick charge. And a goal kick it'll be. Too much height on the shot. Twenty minutes to go. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Guimaraes. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. 
Well, all doing their bit to keep them out. Has a go! And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Let's see about the delivery. Not really the ideal clearance. But it just petered out. And there to intervene. This attack looks highly promising. Could pull one back here. Timely intervention. Ten minutes to go then. Neil. He fancies it. Well, body in the way. Gets in the way once more. Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Substitution for Newcastle United. Coming off the pitch, number seven, John Linton, to be replaced by number 32, Elliot Anderson. Short corner it is. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Well, acres of space out wide for Newcastle. Can he finish? And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Delivering it. Well, still an issue here. From a long way out. Well, terrific defending to stop them progressing. Cuts it back. Brilliantly blocked. Running with the ball confidently. That is tackling of the highest order. Anthony Gordon. Almiron. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. And there goes the final whistle. It is a happy story as far as Newcastle are concerned. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest.